So along those lines, I think there's probably a way for the, what used to be the new left, and now whatever we are, to ally with libertarians in some way. Could be. If we wanted to, for instance, reduce carbon output, we could eliminate subsidies for all this corn that's being sold. Well, I don't know about the left, but certainly the libertarians are caught in the same um, problem, which I, I would describe as a dogmatic uh, loyalty to a framework, without exception. Uh, and, and that's why they're able to pursue their positions without regard for any consequences, because they're not empirical. They don't take into account the the evidence for what you do if you follow their lead. For instance, in the case of my good friend Ron Paul... Um, You're kidding, right? <laughs> no. Well, I correspond with him. He's like a... Uh, I, I'm, I'm, an, I'm trying to stop these wars. He's been very, very helpful yeah. in, in trying to stop these that. wars. Yeah. But, but, you know, if, and, and on the drug war, he's fine. But because he has this libertarian framework, he insists on believing things that he just shouldn't. All he would have to say is, well, times have changed and I've, I've adopted to that. For instance, if, if he were here tonight, we could ask him in civilized conversation, Mr. Congressman, do you really think that in Austin, under your program, all black people should be kicked out of all stores and restaurants so they can be resegregated because it's the absolute unconditional right of the owner of the store to refuse service to anyone for any reason whatsoever. I think an honest Ron Paul would say, well, you know, I was wrong about that. But because he's ideological, he can't say that. He doesn't really believe that, you know, all black people should be eliminated from Austin stores. Does he? No. He's so fanatically committed, as some in the left are, that they're the opposite of what I started talking to you about, which is participant observation. If, if you start seeing everything through your filter, you will filter out what you don't want to see. If you start with a general filter, open to correction, and you see that actually, you know, there was a debate about the owner's right to refuse service versus the human right to equal treatment under the 14th Amendment or the First Amendment, then you could make a rational decision. Do you favor uh, the absolute owner's right or, or do you favor a more democratic view of uh, sharing space and opportunities? And, and, and you move on, but I, I, they can't do that. And I, the Republican Party is, is really... Um, filled with people like this, um, who will only learn the errors of their ways at our expense, I think. <laughs>